What's up you guys? Hey, it's Ben. Thanks for checking out my videos once again. If you aren't a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would truly appreciate it. And just smash that like button just because you love me. Um, anyway, so let's move forward. I'm going to talk today about writing the best job descriptions. Now this is crucial in recruiting. So most of the time you're going to be advertising a lot of jobs, especially when you're working in the general labor niche. So admin, production facility, clerical, drivers, you post these jobs on job boards, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Craigslist, wherever you're posting them, you're going to be advertising them. So you need to write really good job descriptions. Um, the way you do this is you use a little bit of finesse, you provide a lot of information up front, and you basically lure someone into wanting to talk to you. Once they talk to you, then you can sell them on the job and make sure that they're going to come in for an interview and vet them from there, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do to give you all that info is basically screen share some exact job descriptions I've written. I'll write one out right in front of you just from a, an organic standpoint of like, if we got a job order, how would we write up this job description to put it on the internet so that we can get a bunch of candidates and then just funnel them all over to the client and then get a win and pop $3,000 in our bank account. So um, I am going to screen share, I'll pop right in and I'll see you guys on the other side later. All right, guys, so we're inside of my computer right now. We're looking at craigslist.org, obviously one of the best places to place job ads pretty much for any general labor niche. So um, yeah, this is just an awesome spot to get a super easy ton of candidates in your pipeline for any job that you might be posting. So um, what I'm gonna do is basically show you how I would go about, about posting a job um, if I just got a job order. So I'm gonna say that this is an administrative role, um, that it works for a, a dental, dental office and we're just gonna go from there so um create a posting uh, let's just say seattle so you can pick a lot of different areas within your own region but understand exactly how they work and the way they work so um on the east side this is going to show to a much different demographic uh region um Snohomish County is going to show to a whole different region. South King County is going to show to a whole different region. So let's just say that this dental clinic is located in Seattle. This would be really nice and generic. Seattle would be perfect for this. Obviously, I'm going to click job offered. You've got to understand that jobs on Craigslist, when you post them, they cost about 45 bucks a piece. I think this differs from area to area. Somebody let me know in the comments what your jobs cost to post on Craigslist. So um, if I'm looking for an administrative assistant or an admin or something in the office, it's very cut and clear right here, it's admin office. Now, one thing that's unique on Craigslist, you can actually pick multiple categories. So say this person was admin office, but a lot of their duties had to do with human resources. You could put that there also. I'm gonna let you know right now, this does not bode very effectively. It doesn't really like target exactly who you want. Just pick one category and go with it. $45 rather than 90, it's much easier. Um, continue. So we're at the job posting page. So what we would do is we'd pretty much just go in and put, um, well, here's the thing. So you really, when you post a job ad, you wanna make sure that it stands out. So if you look at Craigslist, and we're just gonna take a peek here and look for jobs and I'm gonna put administrative assistant. This is just, I mean, a very generic, super simple position. Okay, so if we look at this, number one, what stands out? The ads with the pictures. Always the ads with the pictures. These are super boring. Not gonna click on them. These are really interesting. They have actual people in them. That's incredibly interesting. Um, these have logos, that's pretty interesting. More people, those are interesting. So number one, you absolutely wanna make sure you have a picture in it, but um, so let's let's look at the titles as well though. Um, administrative front desk, front desk, blah, blah, whatever. Um, administrative assistant, health and technology. Okay, see some of these titles are convoluted. Um, some of them are too simple. Um, and some of them are just weird. Administrative to 19027, whatever. No one knows what that means. Um, so you've got to keep in mind two things, picture and your title. So let's go back to ours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hiring now. This is huge. 
you don't see anyone, this is just gonna auto fill, so hiring warehouse people all the time. Um, administrative assistant um, for dental office. And then I'm gonna throw some of this in there, right? So you see these symbols, we're hiring now, it's in all caps. You don't see any of that here. None of that's on here. My job will stand out 10 times above all these jobs. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna put, it's just in Seattle. It's generic zip code. Um, now for the body of your job description. So listen, when people look at your job description, what do they want to know? All they wanna know is information. That's all a job seeker wants to know. They wanna know how much they're gonna make. They wanna know what the hours are, where the job's located at, what are the basic duties, blah, blah, blah. So I literally go through and I will type up a basic template, position, dental office front, dental front office admin. admin. Um, administrative. So I'm going to give them as much information as I can. I'm going to put hours Monday, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, pay. Let's say this is going to be like an 18 to 21 uh, to 21 an hour job, depending on experience. I don't even write D-O-E, I write depending on experience because some people don't even know how to interpret that. So I put it all out there. Um, then what comes next is generally a duties section, okay? Answer phones. Um, schedule uh, appointments, um, billing, billing, they'll teach, even put in here, we'll teach, we'll, we'll train. You might have to train them on their billing system. You don't want your candidate to get spooked out, be like, I don't know how to do billing, so we'll train. Um, how about um, uh, another thing? We can just leave it at that. This is simple. Um, experience preferred. That you could tra you could trade all these words for something else that you might like better. Um, but I always like to make this a simple template. So um, experience. It's, so let's just say Microsoft. Office suite experience. Everybody knows what that is, but we're even gonna put it in. Word, Excel, uh, just gonna put Outlook, email. I go as descriptive as possible. I don't really care how stupid it looks. I'm gonna give them everything they need to know. Um, Multi-line phone systems, um, calendar scheduling. Okay, now we're just, you know, whatever. Um, office experience. Wanna make sure they've done this in an office before and not just like at their parents' like company on the fly remotely. Um, and then I'm going to put something along the lines of, um, maybe we have one specific program that we like to use, um, and it's called, uh, experience with Microsoft or Microsoft project standard 2010 10 through 2015, whatever. It, it's a specific program we use. We want to see if they have experience in it, so I'm going to put it on here. And the do, the dentist is is like super into that program and wants to make sure the admin knows it. Um, 
so these are uh, this is the experience we prefer. Um, these are the duties. Okay, this is very basic and this is just for exemplary purposes. I'm putting a ton of information up front. Here's the hours. Here's exactly what you'll get paid. Um, this is the position, dental, front office, administrative assistant. You already know exactly what you're doing. You're answering phones, you're scheduling appointments, you're handling some billing, and this is the experience that we want you to have. In the middle, right here, I'm gonna put something like this. Please respond to this ad with resume for an interview. People need to be told exactly how to proceed because down here, you can add your phone number and text and all kinds of things like that. A lot of people will just simply text you or they'll just call you off the bat. And what are you gonna be like? You're gonna be like, hey, send me your resume. Tell them it's full time. Again, over here, we're gonna put 18 through um, 21 per hour. Uh, I'm gonna put my email in here, whatever. And I do click these because I want them, I want them to be able to contact me by phone. So if an applicant is interested and they're just looking at this on the fly and they wanna call me, I still want them to call me. But after they call me, I want them to be able to, you know, then say, Oh, just go ahead and email me your resume at the email on the posting, and this will show up on the posting. So I'll hit continue, and let's see, something's wrong here. Um, let me just, it's a random number, don't call it. All right, so this is just gonna check that the geographic location is proper. Uh, yep, that's exactly where I wanna post this job at, so we're good. All right, now comes the images. Okay, so listen, remember how we were looking at these boring, super boring job ads that were posted on Craigslist? Right, you need an image, okay? So this is kinda cool, that's semi-cool, this is like weird, I don't know what that is, whatever. This is kinda cool. People are really, really cool. But you know what's really cool and easy and simple and pretty much works every single time and this is just almost kinda foolproof? Mm, where is it at? Something like this. Hiring now in neon lights, okay? This is how the ad will look. Simple as that. The location, the total title, including the position, exactly what the information is that you're gonna be needing. Please respond to the side with resume for an interview. Duties and experience preferred. Hiring now in neon lights. That's how it will appear right here. No doubt people are gonna to respond to that, okay? So I'm not gonna go forward in the process yet. I'm gonna show you a different ad. I'm gonna show you an ad that I actually uh, posted for a warehouse that I do work with. Um, again, hiring now with a bunch of asterisks just for fun. Um, I explain warehouse shipping and receiving, full time, 40 hours a week. This is the information people want to know. Um, I show them in the map exactly where it's located. I put the zip code in there and I explain we're hiring ASAP. This is what we're hiring for. Uh, the pay is this, the shift is this. Email this posting with the resume. Again, duties, requirements, done. Simple as that. They reply, they can call me, they can look up my number, they can email me directly. That's how simple that is. So this is this is Craigslist. This is how easy this works. So you go publish this ad, you go pay for it with a credit card, um, and you're done. And your ad is up there for 30 days. It'll expire after 30 days. So once you hire, obviously get rid of it. But this is how it's gonna work out um, on Craigslist. So um, I wanted to pop into Indeed for just a second, just to show you that it's very, very similar. This is my Indeed, um, and I think this is another, we we're looking for a warehouse driver. Um, on Indeed, it's pretty much the same thing. Job description, it asks you to do things in a certain order. So on Indeed, it's very systematic. And when you post a job, we can run through it for just a quick second, but it'll ask you to post a job, warehouse, worker, Seattle Logistics Co, Seattle, Washington, um, full time. 15 to 20 bucks, whatever. 
how many hires do you want to make? Say two to four. You have to play with this algorithm a little bit because um, say you want to make a lot of hires even though you want one guy. Say you want a lot in one to three days and it'll boost your your ad up there. Um, what do the, does the company offer? You post that all in here. Da, 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 da. Continue. And then it asks you for the actual job description. So let's just, I'm just going crazy here. I'm just, just acting a fool. So it asks you for a job description. Throw your job description in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Continue. How do you want to receive applications? Obviously we want them through um, email. So we say yes. Continue. And then here you can ask applicants for particular things um, of experience. So one year of pallet jack, okay, that's required. Um, experience, warehouse, let's just say we want management. Let's say we want uh, driving, driver experience, required. Background check, required. Shift availability, morning is required, midday is required. Okay, awesome, we're gonna continue. Oh yeah, also, only notify me of candidates who say they meet all of my requ required criteria above. I don't know why they even asked this, but of course I only wanna talk to people that meet this criteria. So yes, you can also add assessments on Indeed, which is pretty crazy, but I do not wanna send an assessment. Um, this is for something like if you wanted to, you know, find out how much someone really knows about you know distribution or warehousing and that sort of thing. Um, so it's gonna preview your job description um, and it'll give you a, a view preview. So this is what it'll look like. This is how easy it is to put a job on Indeed. And then afterwards, um, what happens is you confirm it, you set a budget, five to 10 bucks a day, something like that, um, and you basically just, you know, you run your ad and people inbox, you know, through your email that's set up on your account and they straight inbox you and they'll send you your, um, your applicants. So anyways, that's just a little bit about setting up job ads on uh, Craigslist and on Indeed. Um, just the takeaways here are that you want to just be really prominent about the position and provide a ton of information, but I'll hop out on the other side and I'll talk to you guys in a second. What's up guys? So I hope that was a little bit informative. So we went over Craigslist ads, Indeed ads, which are the main two mainstay ads that I post frequently for general labor niche roles. So Craigslist is for a lot of maybe lower tier general labor. Indeed is for the upper tier, mid tier general labor. Um, it just depends. You've got to feel it out. There is not any magic bullet to it. Sometimes you'll get crazy responses on Craigslist. Sometimes you'll get crazy responses on Indeed. Um, I have messed around with ZipRecruiter, not the biggest fan at all. Um, and then there's plenty of other ways that you can find candidates, right? But these are two that I'm just showing you. So the takeaways that are extremely important for this video alone are that when you write a job ad, provide as much detail as possible from pay range to time to location to job duties to the preferred experience. Um, and maybe a little bit of information, like a little blurb about the company or what the company does or what they're looking for specifically in a candidate. Um, all of these things are going to attract the right talent. And honestly, here's the thing. You can't pull a bait and switch on candidates. Unemployment's too low. There's way too many people that have way too many options and you can't pull a bait and switch. So you need to give them everything. Be extremely direct, ruthlessly direct with a candidate about what this job entails. So letting them know, hey, this is the pay range. It does not deviate from 18 to 21. Like the client will not pay above 21. Telling someone that upfront in an ad is all the better because when they contact you and start to talk about pay range and stuff like that and you left it out open-ended on the ad or something like that, it's just a bad setup because they're, it's just a waste of your time. So make sure that your ads are thorough, they put as much information up there as front uh, as you can in, in the front and they're attractive. So put you know things in caps, put the asterisks, put really good pictures like hiring now in bold red. Um, stuff like that's super attractive to people on job ads. They're really going to jump towards your ad, you know, and just be creative. 
just get better than the other guy. Just hustle, right? So that's how you post job ads. Um, that's how you post the best job ads, I think, um, in a really, really minimal way. I'm showing you just Craigslist and Indeed right now. Obviously, we're not talking about actual search. We're talking about advertising jobs that you get, um, which is lo and before, you know, one of the easiest ways to get a bunch of candidates. So um, when you do get job orders, reference this video, it's definitely gonna be one of your go-tos because you will want to get a ton of candidates off of these two platforms and funnel them through after you vet them and talk to them, which we'll do more videos on going forward. So anyways, guys, I hope you're having an awesome start to your week. I know I am, I know I'm ready to smash this week. I've got a ton of job orders that have come through, more people connecting with me, um, and I'm ready to smash this entire week and end off April super strong. So guys, I'll catch you tomorrow and I hope you're having an awesome evening. Take care. Bye.